so I ain't too worried about it. I just need to. Now the next step is, is when the float's all the way to the top, that's full. So what I'm gonna do is when I drop it in, I'm gonna make sure that I drop it in where the full will be at on the tank. So I put the grease on there so I can push it in. And hopefully, I'm gonna have to take the rubber grommet off and slip it over apparently. Either swollen or shrunken. Alright, so. Again, need to be at the full position and we're going to put the grommet back in. I should probably mark the gauge itself. Just like that. So, when I fill it, it should be full, in theory. Alright, next step is to put the dash back together. So, I never unhook the wires for the tether and the uh, um, mat or the helmet. So, I'm going to push the wires down. Um, these front clips go in here and latch under like so. And then on this side, same thing. Alright, then you got the tank up here I use this to loosen it and I'll use it again to tighten it if I can get a bite on it that's good enough for me solid. Uh, next step is the dash. Just flip it back over. Plug in the uh, ports here. And screw it back down. Actually, taking this off last week to fix something, and I had to drill out some of those some of the screws I'm going to be putting in. I had to drill these screws out here, which kind of melted the plastic a little bit, but I didn't have any choice. the metal clips on the underside as well. You got two screws up on the front over the headlight. Oh, my bad, these are the wrong screws. We go on the side here. Basically, egging out the other hole. Yay. Alright, and then I think these are T 
T15. Screws up front here. Didn't strip this one out. Sorry, that's all right. Pop in the little center cap here. And next step, put down the windshield. On the windshield, when I took it off the first time, I actually used some anti-seize on these bolts because they were rusted and they were definitely seized. Now they have a, a square um, carriage bolt style on plastic, mind you. It's and called you, like a fender washer. Yeah, and you don't want to have that seizing up. It's just not a good thing. He's on there so later in the future I can take this thing back off because I'm sure I'll have to work on stuff on this sled. It's an older sled, so never tighten stuff up until you got all the bolts in. Grab that side that's kind of left up right about there while you're You get one side, it's a little bit easier for the other side. Right. All right, I'm gonna switch the sides here. Okay. Just line it up with the marks on the inside here where the old pattern was was at. The goal is to make it so uh, when you're turning your steering wheel, the uh, plastic doesn't rub up in here. Should have about a half inch gap, maybe a little bit less. Somewhere between, I'd say, a quarter inch and a half inch, three eighths, uh, ten millimeter bolts here. washer carriage bolt was actually stripping the plastic on the inside when I went to take it off so I had to grab onto it pliers the first time. Oh, she's moving. I doubt this thing has that big of a tank, though. It's got a 11-gallon tank or something. It goes underneath the whole seat. Oh. 